Woo, Isaiah might get the family. It's your boy Lane. Today you stepping into my life. Uh, today's gonna be something different. Um, as you can see in the title, I love to read. So here's five books that I highly recommend any of y'all to read. Um, give this a like, subscribe, comment. Some books that you should that you suggest that I should read. Um, I could do a whole list of the books that I'm currently reading right now. Um, but the first thing we're gonna start off with, as you can see the list over here <laughs> <Head ass. laughs> no but the first one i would definitely recommend is rich dad poor dad by robert t kiyosaki i hope i pronounced his name right and um i'm sure obviously y'all all heard of the book but i mean it is a good ass read i'm not gonna hold you it basically just talks it honestly from my input i'm not even gonna sit here and tell you uh da, da, da. it's like my input what did i gain from the book and honestly it just made me just view the world like a ceo it just made me think like a boss yo it really okay it gave up a certain diagram hold on let me see i'm gonna try to like i said i'm trying to make these uh uh what's it called these videos short y'all but some of these books really got you thinking i'll just read some of the chapters to you so it says lesson one the rich don't work for money lesson two why teach financial literacy uh, three, mind your own business, the history of taxes. That was a good ass chapter. Chapter four, the history of taxes and the power of cor uh, corporations, the rich invent money, work to learn, don't work for money, overcoming obstacles. It's like, bro, that's the thing too. It really, not only does it make you think like a boss, it really just, well, like, it makes you think like a millionaire from my point of view and it really gives you the aspect of uh, financial literacy like having your money work for you because you know that's another thing too we always say oh i don't have money for it but it's like no it's all about wording certain things not because a millionaire wouldn't say obviously even if he's an upcoming millionaire he's not going to sit here and say i don't have money for it obviously even if you don't have money for it he's going to be like what does it take to accumulate that type of money what should i do you know what i mean it just makes you think so definitely if you're trying to get your bands up bro read that book like and then speaking of bands bro this right here think and grow rich by napoleon hill phenomenal read bro i am not gonna hold you honestly one of my favorite books um i uh, read it only once but i couldn't put the book down like i think i finished it within a week or something bro i don't know it really okay <clears throat> it's one of those things where it set daily affirmations in my mind. It really had me program my mind to be like, I have manifested $100,000 by December 31st, 2021. I have made $100,000. Ooh, I have made a million dollars. Like it literally tells you word for word. Not necessarily how to get your bands up, but it really, in, in itself, is about law of attraction with financial freedom. So, here's one of the things that I took from this. It literally uh, told me, at one point of my uh, time reading it, it said, get you a piece of paper, write down the certain amount of wealth you want to accumulate. Me, honestly, I want to make 100 bands. Like, I don't, niggas will probably say, why not a million dollars? I can't, I don't even know visually, like in real life, with my own eyes, I have never seen $100,000. So if I haven't ever seen $100,000 at one point in time, I will go crazy with a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real with myself. So I was like, if I can get $100,000, I can flip it to a mil. And if I get a mil, I can flip it to 10. You know what I mean? So it's like, it really had me think, Okay, write down a piece of paper, do your daily affirmations, and obviously put in the work to receive those hundred thousand dollars. And okay, say uh, it'll basically tell you if you have a, if you had a hundred thousand dollars right now, what would you do with it? If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? And people are gonna be like, oh, I would invest, I would do this. But like, do you like? realistically speaking how exactly would you invest are you gonna invest into crypto are you gonna buy land are you gonna buy like like honestly put that in perspective you know what i mean like what are you doing um one of the chapters i'll just read a couple chapters it says the power of thought uh desire the starting point of, point of all achievements faith visualizing and believing in the attainment of desire 
uh, the medium for influencing the subconscious mind, specialized knowledge, personal experiences or observations, imagination, the workshop of the mind, organized planning, the crystallization of desire into action, decision, the master, the mastery of procrastination, persistence, um, power of the mastermind, the driving force, the mystery of sex transmutation. Uh, and that's a good one too, man. Like semen retention, like, yo, if you just hold your seed, fellas, like if y'all don't just fuck these hoes, if y'all don't just um, focus on you, you'd be surprised with how far you would go because you can uh, transmute that sexual energy into whatever you desire. Like, say, for instance, if you're a musician, I mean, I just relate a lot of stuff to music because obviously I do music. So, you know, you know what it is anyway. So, but um, if you conceal that sexual energy and put that energy into the mic, you know what I'm saying? Or put that into producing beats. You know, or like say whatever it is you're into. Like if you conceal that energy, even Mike Tyson or one of the fighters said they did not have sex for a few months prior to that fight because that's how real it is to hold your seed. So and then plus you think clearly, you know, what I'm saying like, you know, man, that shit gets deep. If we go and talk about that, we could talk about that for another video. It talks about this, uh, the subconscious mind, the brain, um, how to outwit the six ghosts of fear. It gets deep, bro. It really gets deep. I really love that book. I'm not going to hold you. So, boom. Those are two books. The third one, this can be uh, two books. Uh, it's called The Power, um, as you can see, The Secret by Rhonda Bryan. I keep telling y'all this in the previous video. Um, what's it? On How to Clear Your Mind, I said I called the book Love. Rhonda Bryan Love might be y'all. It's actually Power. <laughs> and it talks about the power of love. Um, that book, I would recommend that one and The Secret by Rhonda Bryan. Um, it just talks about just love being an energy. Because uh, if y'all see my video, go check out that video, man. You are a magnet. You are literally attracting whatever it is you're putting out. So if you put out love, you're going to receive good vibes. You know what I'm saying? You're going to receive good memories, good everything. But if you're always a pessimistic, negative person, you're going to receive negative vibes. And you're going to be the main one saying, why is negative things happening to me? Why is this? Because you got to pay attention to your actions, pay attention to your thought patterns, pay attention on what you do on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me read some chapters. Um, boom, it says, what is the power? The power of feelings, feeling frequencies, the power in creation, feeling is creation. Life follows you. Keys to power, the power of money, the power of relationships, the power in health, the power in you, and the power in life. It really is a beautiful read. Um, all these books are just books like I couldn't put down. So I'm not going to just bullshit you and say, oh, read these books. I like, know, like I've dead ass read these books. And this one, I fucked this book up. As you can see, like, bro, I'm getting better with the uh, <laughs> condition of books. But yeah, this is like one of, I've had this book for like a couple of years now. Uh, it's Robert Greene Mastery. And he has a lot of hella good books. The Art of Seduction. Um, I gave that book to one of my friends. They said that shit was kind of creepy, low key. Like how he uh, was talking about just how to seduce properly. It kind of came off as creepiest, uh, creeper ish. I haven't wa uh, read it yet. I was about to say, I haven't watched it yet. Head ass. I haven't read it yet. But Mastery, uh, 48 Laws of Power. Uh, I don't, he had a certain amount of. I think 48 laws of war or some shit. He's, you could tell like he's an articulate person. It's talks about strategy and just he, for mastery, okay. It talks about whatever it is you're into, just study the greats. In order to be a master at your craft, you have to study the masters prior to uh, what you're doing. Um, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, I'm into boxing. So, uh, yeah, like, look up those greats. Uh, Jackie Robinson, if you're into baseball. Fucking James Brown, Frank Sinatra, Beethoven, Kanye West for music. You know what I'm saying? Tupac, Biggie. The list goes on. You know what I mean? Yo, this is random, but I was playing uh, Doggy Style by uh, Snoop, his whole album, and The Chronic. Yo, those are real bangers. Like, I pray I make, like, a just a classic album like that. Yo, those are classic albums. 
But um, yeah, let me read some of the chapters. My bad, y'all. I'm all over the place. But I messed this book up, y'all. I am not gonna hold you. Um, it says the ultimate power, the evolution of mastery, keys to mastery. It talks about Charles Darwin, like how he mastered to create the whole uh theory of. I know there's going to be some smart asses coming at me, but you know that uh, Darwinism, like how uh, his theory of uh, evolution. Um, but yeah, it talks about Da Vinci. You know what I'm saying? Discover your calling, the life's task, the hidden force, the keys to mastery. I think I already said that had ass. Strategies for finding your life's task. Submit to reality, the ideal of apprenticeship. Um Absorb the master's power, the mentor dynamic. Um, like looking at people, uh, P. Diddy, Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? See people as they are, social intelligence. It talks about uh, Thomas Jefferson awakening the dimensional mind, the creative, active. Uh, fuse the intuitive with the rational. Bro, this is a really good ass read, y'all. I would definitely recommend this hoe. And speaking of Robert Greene, bro, you know I can't bring a mastery without bringing up um, the 48 Laws of Power, like I said earlier. It literally, bro, I'm not gonna hold you. I was reading that shit at work and I was using some of the shit he was saying and that shit is real, bro. The uh, law number four is engraved in my mind. Always say less than necessary. Because the more you speak, the more you reveal your intentions or the more like, you know, like, okay, boom. For instance, if you're trying to talk to a honey, if you're trying to Mac, if you're coming off as like, you're trying to talk, like push it over, push it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about, fellas. When you try to force it to get her number, when yet, if you just played off smooth and just say, you, you need to say what you need to say in order to get the digits. You know what I'm saying? But if you're like, oh, hey, oh, she would be like, ah, yeah, I got to go. <laughs> and I, you know what I'm saying? We've all been there, man. You already know what it is. But no, I can just read you a few of the laws. Yo, this shit is real. Never outshine the master. Never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. Yo. Conceal your intentions. Always say less than necessary. So much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. Court attention at all costs. Get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit. It literally tells you, bro, how to move in life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely recommend this shit. Like, what? Um, Win through your actions, never through argument. Infection. Avoid the unhappy and unlucky. Learn to keep people dependent on you. Use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victims. Uh, when asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest, never to their mercy. The fuck? When asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest, never to uh, to their mercy or gratitude. Pose a, as a friend, work as a spy, crush your enemy totally. The list goes on. I mean, there's 48 laws, man. And just process, ele uh, I was about to say process elimination. Not even process elimination. Like, statistically speaking, if you just, you could take at least a good two or three good uh, laws from this book to, like, use for your life. Um, that's my list. Uh, like I said, this is something new. Uh, if you resonate with some of these books, like if you feel like some of these books you're gravitating towards, give us a like, comment, triple A's. Tell me which book that you feel like you should get. Tell me some books that I should read. Um, like I said, I got another video of uh, the books that I'm gonna that I'm reading currently. Um, I did. Literally, last year, I read up to 14 books, so I can do, like, a list, literally a whole list of, like, the books that I read, um, and I got more books coming in um, by the end of the week, so that's going to be straight. Uh, I hope y'all like this. Uh, that's about it. It's your boy, Lane. Today, you stepped into my life. Educate yourself, y'all. Really take the time, whatever it is you're into in life, like, if you want to get motivated, if you want self-help if you are trying to get your bands up if you're uh 
trying to get out of a rut and you're trying to like spark that creative process like whatever it is you're into look up books for so and so like y'all there's even books for like um for hooking up with women there's books to like how to properly please your woman you know what i mean not even just sexually like because you know women are emotional creatures so you gotta like really stimulate their minds you know what i'm saying um there's books for everything anything and everything so that being said, y'all, I love y'all. I spread nothing but positivity and prosperity on the screen. I hope y'all live a blissful life. It's your boy Lane. I need bye-bye. Peace.